The NHL is under heat for the three-on-three -three overtimes. Since it was implemented in 2015, fans feel like it has only gone south from there. NHL's three-on-three -three overtime has become too tactical. The NHL should change its overtime format. Three-on-three -three stinks. Anybody else feel like overtime is becoming very boring to watch? Three on three overtime is garbage. How did overtime go from being something exciting and fresh to stale, boring, and too tactical? The NHL introduced three on three overtime at the onset of the 2015 to 16 regular season, aiming to intensify the game with a smaller player lineup. The format, limiting each team to three players, initially thrilled both fans and players due to the increased open ice and dynamic back-and-forth action. However, over time, players and coaches have strategically employed tactics to control the tempo, transforming overtime into a tactical game resembling keep away. One primary example is how teams will stop their own forward progress with the puck and rag it back to neutral or the defensive zone if they believe their upcoming offensive zone entry won't be successful or the play might go awry. By doing so, the team prevents odd man rushes to their opposition and allows for safe line changes. In November, it became known that NHL GMs are discussing 3-on-3 three -three overtime rule changes to decrease the number of games ending in shootouts. The NHL introduced the shootout to conclude hockey games in the 2005-2006 season, following the lockout. Despite its entertainment value, the shootout's effectiveness in determining a deserved winner has been debated. I wasn't able to find more recent statistics, but in the 2021-22 season, approximately 8% of games ended in a shootout. That equates to 102 games ending in shootouts. While shootouts showcase individual skills and make for an exciting spectacle, they fall short as a reliable method for determining the superior team. Proposing a return to ties, eliminating shootouts and extending 3 on 3 overtime to 7 minutes could enhance the accuracy of NHL standings and deliver more thrilling hockey for fans. The absence of shootouts in the Stanley Cup playoffs emphasizes their questionable significance in the regular season. If shootouts aren't deemed fit for playoff games, why should they dictate regular season outcomes? Despite the argument for discontinuing shootouts, their attention is driven by their entertainment value, particularly appealing to young fans. Although the shootout has been part of the league since 2005, emphasizing the excitement of 3-on-3 three -three overtime might be a more fitting conclusion to games. Avoiding the random outcomes associated with shootouts. A poll by Pierre Lebron tested these statements among the fans. As the poll shows, 83.1% of the hockey fans answered that they are in favour of eliminating the shootout and instead extending it to 3-on-3 three -three OT by a few minutes. Luckily for the fans, the league's current executive vice president and director of hockey operations and the team's GMs also don't seem to be a fan of the current overtime practice because of the reason that it has led to more games being decided in the shootout. So much so that they are brainstorming overtime rule changes to try and end games sooner. In this tweet from Frank Saravalli, he revealed the potential solutions discussed by the higher-ups in the NHL. The first solution proposed was, once you cross the red or blue line, you can't skate back out again. I don't think this solution is the best move as it wouldn't solve the current problems regarding extremely passive and cautious offensive zone push, where teams are holding their players back to constantly have fresh legs on the ice. This solution does not penalize passive play. I would argue that it actually does the opposite. The other solution being discussed was a shot clock. And the shot clock is, let's use the NBA as an example, they're already using the shot clock. The shot clock shall refer to the timing device that displays a countdown of the time within which the team possessing the ball must attempt a field goal. The shot clock shall start at 24 seconds, unless otherwise provided in Rule 7. The shot clock shall be displayed in seconds, except tenths of seconds will also be displayed once the shot clock reaches 4.9 seconds. I think a shot clock is the best solution, as it would solve the extremely passive and tactical play currently plaguing the NHL overtime. It would force players to play offensive, and for example, if a team violates the shot clock, they could get a one-minute penalty. Well, I'm just speculating. According to the tweet, the discussions are tabled to March. It will be exciting to see how they solve the current problems.